so yes, I made my own programming language and it's just a project I made for fun. What kind of happened yesterday was that I programmed for 14 hours and I kind of forgot to do a video. So now I have to do two videos. So this video is going to be a little shorter and it was because of this programming language. So you can run basic commands like print and it prints, but I've constructed a few programs here and uh, it does have comments. So if we just run this, it won't do anything. And we can uncomment stuff. And I will explain the code later, just running it now so you can see. My name is Bob and I'm 18 years old. So, just scroll up a little. You can see that there's functions, or I call them regions. And there we go, it's a little clearer to see now. And you can see that I run the function with parameters. And I will say that this is my, probably my 40th, 50th programming language, because I've kept failing trying to make programming language. But this is my actual first programming language, which actually worked. And uh, I'm quite excited about it, if you haven't realized. And I mean, it doesn't have a practical purpose. I'm not gonna write code in it and use it for like production or stuff like that. But it's pretty fun. And if you've been programming for a while and you're struggling to understand how a programming language is actually constructed, definitely take up the challenge of writing your own. I mean, it is complicated and it might take you a few years, but you will learn so much. Now, there's a lot of different ways of making a programming language, and this is just one way. And I've made more simple ones like stack-based and stuff like that, but this is just a relatively simple language that uses a lot of the help from JavaScript to make it a bit easier to make. But let's go to the next code here. And you can see if we run this, that it prints out this. And I also have an example where we get some user input. There you go. And it asked me for name, so we can just go ahead and write my name and how old I am. And there you go. And the last example I have is this one. So let's write Bob, and there you go. There are three characters in the name Bob. So I know it's a really simple programming language, and I mean, it can't really do too much. It can write files and read files, and of course it can print out, but definitely I'm gonna be adding a lot more language constructs to add more capability to the language. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you wanna see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here, and hopefully I see you in the next one.